Did you hear her? She's saying the worst things. We thought that it was time that I do a video where I just collect the most outrageous, scandalous things that I have said and put them all in one spot. We thought this would be helpful for any of you who want to be grabbing screenshots to make memes that talk about my heresy. Let me just put it all in one little spot for you so it's so easy. This is my scandalous position. Christian women are obligated to obey Jesus. That's it. People will tell you that I do not understand the difference between justification and sanctification because I say Christians are obligated to obedience. And that is not true. I do not believe that there is any part of our own works that will ever be part of our salvation. That we are saved through Christ's righteousness, no contribution of our own. But what I do see to be the case, I read my Bible, I see that a great deal of the Bible is consumed with telling us how to go forward after that point in obedience. And saying things casually in the Bible like, be zealous for good works. Like, do, this is what the Bible tells us how to do, what to do. So the reason I bring this up, my position on obedience is an outrage. I just like to say, the world ought to be a heck of a lot more outraged by Christians everywhere if saying that Jesus calls us to obey him is such a scandal as all that. We have to be brave enough to say that and to say, yes, he calls you to obey even in your difficult circumstance, even with your hurt feelings. He calls you to obey even in your broken marriage. He calls you to obey no matter what. Follow him because that's the only way uh, to be living in Christ is to be with Christ, pursuing him. The world ought to be so much more scandalized by Christians. If this is what causes so much outrage among believers, among professing Christians, you say, obey your savior, Jesus Christ, and everyone says, <gasps> Did you hear her? She's saying the worst things. So this is what I this is what I want to bring us all up for. When feminists perhaps rightly have identified a bunch of male sins, male dominated, patriarchy dominated society sins, then they're saying what we need to do is get rid of the patriarchy and we need to bring in this feminine look at scripture. We need to read scripture from the perspective of a woman and interpret it all differently and bring all this brilliance to scripture through our own lens. When the reality is they're disobeying scripture in exactly the same way. If we have one horrible, nasty layer of the cake that was dominated by male sins, let's not make a whole new nasty one dominated by female sins. Let's maybe toss that whole project and all of us just look to Christ and follow him. I believe women should, should should be submissive to their own husbands, that they should be submissive to the elders in their church. But I always believe that that is only insofar as it is consistent with God's word. If your husband or if your elders call you to do something disobedient to Christ, you are forbidden from doing that. And so something I think is so interesting that we fail to see all the time is that feminists talk big like they're not following men. They talk big like they're throwing this all off. But what they're doing is submitting to ungodly men, following ungodly men to places that they should never go. Long before Beth Moore got up in a pulpit to disobediently preach, uh, ignoring clear scripture that forbids her from doing so, Thousands and thousands of men got into pulpits to disobediently preach, ignoring clear scripture that told them they were not qualified to be there. And, and so this big feminist, we will be free to disobey just like all those other disobedient men. Well, you're free in Christ to obey Christ and to not be dominated by sinful men or dominated by sinful women, but instead to say, let's follow Christ. And maybe the only answer to men's sins is not going to be like, oh yeah, let's bring in our big savior, women's sins. That's not going to, this is not going to fix anything. We need the only solution to all of humanity's sins, which is our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And all of us need to be totally willing to obey him, follow him, submit to him, and tell one another to do so.